Hey guys, what's going on? So today I am going to be making vegetable egg rolls. I can't make that many things, but this is one thing I can make. It's very simple, it's very easy. So we're just gonna go step by step through the process and if this works, uh, maybe we'll do it again. All right guys, so this is everything we're going to be using today. So we have vegetable oil, which is what the egg rolls are gonna be going in. The salad is the filling. And then the seasoning for the salad is some adobo and soy sauce. And that is the egg roll wrappers. Those can be found in like your produce section. And then the water, you'll see what that's for in just a second. All right, so guys, here is just all the filling. The salad mix looks pretty plain, pretty simple. So we're gonna add some flavor to this first before we get to rolling them up. So we're gonna put in some soy sauce. You know me, I gotta spill it everywhere. You know how that goes. So that's some adobo in there. Get the flavor mixed up. And how much you're gonna put in there really depends on you. I like just I like enough. I want to get that flavor mixed in. I want to make sure I got enough to make sure it's well distributed throughout. But I'm gonna get all this blended in. I'm gonna put some more soy sauce in there, some more adobo, and then we're gonna to get to rolling these boys up. Alright y'all, so everything is pretty well blended in. I had that on medium heat. Now I'm gonna put that in a container so we can roll these up. Alright y'all, so we're gonna roll these up now. So we have the egg roll wrapper and you're gonna put your filling in there. How much you wanna put is up to you. Obviously the more you put in there, it's a little bit harder to roll with more, in my opinion, I've heard different, but that's usually about the amount I put in. And you're gonna bring that in and just tuck in that front part like that. Give it like one or two rolls. Then your water comes in, you're just gonna wet that edge so when you close it, it just has like a seal. Some people use egg wash, I just use water, you can use either one. Seal it up. I always get a little extra just to make sure we're locked in. Because what will happen is once you put it in the vegetable oil, if there is any cracks, the vegetable oil will creep in. And that, sometimes that happens anyway, but you just want to avoid that if you can. All right, and then you got your finished egg roll there. Now you need like a medium high heat. So I do like eight and a half. If you look, if you got an uh, oven like that or a stove, I should say, I'm sorry. There you go, you kind of get the idea with that. Now I'm gonna flip them over. As you can see, it's chaos. It's egg roll chaos, man. But I got it under control. And honestly, you can obviously see they don't need a lot of time. About 30 seconds tops on both sides. Since that one's not flipping, I'm just gonna hold that boy. What's good y'all and welcome to the mukbang portion of this video where I'm just going to be eating what I just made these egg rolls. Some of them I can already tell I can over overdid but oh well that happens it's all part of cooking. So I'm just going to enjoy some of these. Now the sauce I have is a Thai sweet chili sauce. Uh, Panda Express actually has a lot of their branded sauces that are very good with these egg rolls. I couldn't find that one, so this was the next best thing. So let me see how I did. I'm gonna do a review of my own food, so to speak. Kinda of see the filling in there. The, 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 that, the sauce you put it in is good, is crucial. Now this is almost a vegan mukbang, but it's not quite, it's more, it's a vegetarian because there is eggs in the wrap. I was looking to see if I could find a 
wrap that didn't have egg in it. I couldn't find it, but oh well. These are good for like potlucks. And just like a good snack if you're going to like a Super Bowl party, something like that. Just where there's a gathering, a bunch of people, you can make a lot of them. I didn't make as many as I usually make. I usually use the whole thing because I. Oh, this is like my, my potluck go-to if I'm making a potluck at work. This is what I go to. But yeah, guys, let me know if you'd like me to do more like cooking stuff. It would be kind of just like learning to cook because I don't know how to make a lot of stuff. I just pretty much go on YouTube and learn how to cook and like do basic stuff. But if you want to do like more like little how-tos and just like kind of learn with me, I'm happy to do that. I can make like pasta stuff, um, ziti and penne and stuff. Like Baked ziti I'm pretty good with. And um, any pasta related grilled cheese. I make a great grilled cheese. I know people say, that's not cooking. Let me tell you something, you make real great grilled cheese. That's cooking. I'm gonna have a couple more of these boys. That's pretty good. And they, then they hold up pretty well throughout the day, so. I'm gonna save some for later. Not my best work. Some of them are a little bit overdone. I can look at them right now. I did. I let them stay too long in the heat. I wasn't quick enough to turn them. There were too many in there, but we all good. For the most part, though, they're very good. Sauce is crucial. But yeah, I, I like to cook, y'all. Um, when I do, I do have fun with it. But when I mess, it's just very. It can be a very frustrating thing. So it's. You know, you gotta measure stuff, you gotta time stuff right, you know, did you put this amount right? So it's very frustrating for me. That's why I haven't done a lot of cooking. I've tried to cook and I'm just like, oh. This one little thing you do wrong messes up the whole shebang. And listen, I know it's trial and error, but... Sometimes I just rather already eat somebody else's well, most times I'd rather eat somebody else's good food because they, they know what they're doing. They've already gone through the trial and error. Mm. 
and a thank you to everybody who's been voting and participating in the Scott V Last Fry Standing Tournament. So, so far, Arby's has cruised and Checkers has cruised to the second round. And I'm gonna be honest, I set up that Checkers matchup with Wendy's because I've had arguments with people who tell you, I tell me Wendy's fries are better than Checkers. So I was like, all right, let me listen. I'm, I'm gonna get this out of the way right now. So another matchup in the first round today. It's gonna be kind of like March Madness where the first round is just kind of like, okay. Uh, excuse me. The teams that you expect to win are probably gonna win. The second, the Eat Eight, I'm calling it, instead of the Elite Eight, is where it's gonna to start to get juicy. That's when we're gonna to start to, I think that's gonna be the real fun round where people are gonna to have to make a tough decision on what to do, on who to choose. All right, y'all, so I'm getting full, and I want to save these for later. A little snack later, I'm watching a flick or something. These are good, perfect for it. But thank you guys for joining me today. Let me know down below if you like the cooking stuff, if you want me to try to cook more stuff, because basically it'd be just me trying stuff. And so it might be some failures. This is more of a tutorial, because it's something I know. But yeah, let me know down below if you like this type of stuff. If not, you know, all good, no worries. But thank y'all so much again for joining me today. Y'all take care and be well.